your commitment when it comes down to loving that wife. Amen. Listen to the book. And let every woman have her own husband. Every woman ought to have her own husband. She, don't, she ain't got no business going and getting one that already been with somebody that been married before. He already tied into a commitment that God's still honoring on that end. And he gets you and he already got another he married to. You both going to hell. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right? Get your own wife. Get your own husband. Yeah. Amen. Listen to the book. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. Let me tell you something. It's amazing sometimes. Now, and, I, and speaking on a hug from a husband's perspective and a male. Sometimes it's amazing how well a man can treat other women, don't treat their wife worth nothing. That's right. Amen. That do but never, that charitable aid, that go to that wife. Amen. If any woman ought to be treated right, it ought to be your wife. Amen. If any woman ought to be loved and ought to be respected, it ought to be your wife. That's right. You don't walk up no other woman on the street and shake her hands and say, how you doing, Miss Stupid? How you doing, Miss Whore, Miss Tramp? You certainly shouldn't be doing it to your wife. That's right. He said you ought to rim the do but never kissing everybody else. You ought not to kiss your own wife. Amen. Amen. Isn't that right? I'm telling you, what I'm telling you can keep a marriage together, folks. If we do what the book say, God will bless these marriages. Yes, man. Sometimes you can get folks that got longevity, but they don't have no love in it. That's right. You know what happened with a lot of people? What we don't never want with no marriage and sitting here in the way of God's church, don't just be married in there for time. Say, you won't be in there because your heart in it. That's right. Isn't that right? When your heart in it, time will fly. Amen. When you love somebody, it ain't as hard as it will be for somebody that ain't saved. That's right. Isn't that right? Because you know why you're in there. Amen. Listen to the book. Amen. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. If any woman or woman ought to be bragging on, ought to be talking up, it ought to be a husband. That's right. Isn't that right? Let me tell you something. You want to get you some good problems, keep telling your husband about how good some other guy is. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the man. Keep telling your wife about how good some other sister is. Mm -hmm. What a great job some other sister do. You ain't going to keep your together. You're going to cause a division in That's there. That's right. Amen. And then you want to make your better, talk them up. That's right. Treat them right and love one another. This is what the book prescribes. Yes, sir. Now, I got to get some script. You give me 2 Timothy 3.16. Amen. Got to get some script. I'll be insufficient for y'all wedding. Amen. I don't want to lose my job. I just got paid. I'm looking for another check next month. I don't want to mess up next month, check. See, I'm a foreseen pastor. You know, I'm looking down the road. Amen. Isn't that right? That's yes, right. Listen to this here. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Listen to the book. All scripture. All scripture. Is given by the inspiration of God. Yeah. And is profitable for doctrine. Listen. For reproof. For reproof. For correction. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. Yes. That the man of God may be perfect. What else? Thoroughly furnished. Unto what? All good works. To the man of God. If it's going to be something that's of God, a man of God got to be involved in it. Amen. Isn't it right? Marriage is of God. It would behoove you to have a man of God involved when they come down to take on something that's of God. Amen. Something that can instruct you and let you know this is how I've been served. This is how I've been prescribed and ordained of the most high God. Amen. Other brother, jump over you would and get me Genesis chapter 2. Think about verse 18. Amen. Other brother, you hold me Proverbs chapter 18 about verse 22. Amen. It Amen. don't take that long. You got to tell folk the right way or how to walk. Isn't that right? A lot of folks sit up here. Let me tell y'all something. We have people, and, and the unique thing about the church, we got people of every different walks of life and different cultures. We got some that been in marriage and husbands are gone or wives are gone. We got some that's in marriage and husband and wife there, and it's a torment to them. It's a blessing when you got a marriage that's working and, you, and it's doing exactly what's prescribed according to the word of God. Amen. You know what? If you got two people that are willing to work and willing to hang in and most all hear the word of God, you can make it. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? With all that that you do and you keep the word, now you're going to still have some opposition. Right. You're going to still have some problem, but you know what? You can be an overcomer when you got the word sitting in what you're doing. Right. Isn't that right? Amen. This is Genesis chapter 2 at verse 18. Amen. Listen to the book. And the Lord God said. And the Lord God said. It is not good. Right, back, back me up a little bit. That's 18. Back me up by 17, 16. Let me call these folks in their bestiality. Isn't that right? Listen to the book. What verse is that I want? By 16, 15? <coughs> It don't matter. It's all the same word. It's Give me Genesis that. 2 and about 15. That. Huh? It's after that. Okay, come on. Turn to 18 again. All right. This is Genesis chapter 2 at verse 18. Listen to the book. And the Lord God said. And the Lord God said. It is not good that the man should be alone. Y'all hear that? He said, well, not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me you for see him. He said, He's, I'm going to make the man a help me. We know that is not M-E-A-T. This is M-E-E-T, which was appropriate for the man. There's something that the man needed, amen, to get him comfort. Isn't that right? There's something the man needed to help make him complete that'll keep him generated. Isn't that right? He said it's not good for a man to be alone. 
Isn't that right? Listen to the book. And out of the ground. And out of the ground. The Lord God formed every beast of the field. Out of the ground, he formed every beast out of the ground. Listen. And every fowl of the air. And every bird of the air. And brought them unto Adam. And he brought them unto Adam. To see what he would call them. And see what he would call them. And whatsoever or to Adam. see which one he would date. And see what he would call them. See which one he liked to shape on what his he, figure. What he would call them. Now the only time he ever brought them animals to Adam to find out what he wanted to name, not to say which one you like, Adam. That's right. Which one you like to take and make your appropriate meat. Neither one of them. Right. Ain't that right? Only he brought them now for Adam to name them. This is something special when you take on a wife, you take on a husband. That's Amen. right. Listen to the book. And whatsoever Adam called and every, whatsoever Adam called them. every living creature. Uh huh. That was the name thereof. That was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle. Uh huh. And to the fowl of the air. Come on. And to every beast of the field. Yeah. But for Adam, uh -huh. there was not found and help meet for That's him. That's a bad thing when a man called his wife the B word. Because mm. Adam gave that name to an animal. He didn't give it to his wife. When he, when he named that animal, and that animal took on that name now, that was not even appropriate for him to even take that. That's right. Isn't that right? See, a lot of things, we go back and we take the book, we'll learn something ain't even good to call your wife. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Listen to the book. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Yeah. And he slept. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs uh -huh. and closed up the flesh and stead thereof. And did what? And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, yeah. made he a woman. He made a woman. And brought her unto the man. And brought unto the man. And Adam said. What did he say? This is now bone of my bones. And what? And flesh of my flesh. What happened? She shall be called woman. He said she's going to be called the Isha. He said, I'm the Isha. She the Isha. She came out from me. When he made Adam, he formed them from the ground. The woman, he took her from the man. Isn't that right? So when a man get a wife, he ought to really know how to love and treat a wife. You know why? She come out from the man. That's right. Isn't that right? You already got, you already got something in common when a man take on a woman. God puts a natural drive inside a man that he, that he got an attraction for a woman. That's right. He put the same thing inside a woman that got an attraction for a man. Why? Because they both came from one another. That's right. The woman was created from the man and the man come through the woman. That's right. That's already a connection. All they need now is to get the spirit and do exactly what the word has prescribed. Amen. Listen to the book. Because she was taken out of man. She was taken out of man. Therefore, uh -huh. shall a man leave his father and his mother. And do what? And shall cleave unto his wife. Yes. And they shall be one flesh. Why wouldn't they be one flesh? They came out one from another. They already got something in common. They already got some connection. Isn't that right? Only thing there is just sit in the word and learn how to teach them how to stay together. Yes, Listen to the book. And they were both naked. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Amen. <laughs> yeah, talk about that later. <laughs> All right, that's enough. We got to move on. They're probably 18 by 22. <laughs> no, the young folk want to get married. Ooh, that's the good part. No, <laughs> let me tell you something. I tell everybody here they're not married. The one that married I tell you something. When you get married, folk, you will learn when you start getting bills, house note, kids, and car payment, sex start getting limited. Amen. Blood pressure, diabetes, glaucoma, all that kick in. Ain't nobody trying to sleep with nobody blind. <laughs> here you are, here you are, somebody got to roll you in a wheelchair and pull against something in a light switch to get you going for like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Man. Got to put the fan and the heat on you at the same time. Folks like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Y'all <laughs> fight <laughs> Y'all try to get me back for you next year. <laughs> let me tell you, for my young people, I, and, I, and, and, and let me say when I say young people, for those that are not married, and, and really consider this, sex is only one part of a marriage. That's, right. that's only one part. That's not a whole marriage. When you talk about getting married, you need to know something about that person. You need to have a true connection. You need somebody with the same mind. You need somebody when you get weak to say, no, baby, this is what we got to do. You need somebody to be an encouragement to you. Not just the woman to the man, but the man to the woman. Mm -hmm. You need somebody you know you can count on got your back. Mm -hmm. You got to have somebody when you down at your lowest point, at your worst point, that know how to get you and, to, and deter you back onto the right path. That's right. Y'all hear me? Amen. You need about you talking about giving up, talking about here go the gun. <laughs> I thought about killing myself. I got the pills on my dresser. I'm being honest with you, because it's going to get hard when you get married. That's right. You're going to get some pops in there, but you got to be willing to look, look past the surface. Yes, man. Them figures out the wire, they're going to fill out. Them muscles out the wire, they're going to sag. That long curly hair out the wire, it's going to fall out. Them green eyes, blue eyes out the wire, they're going to get cataracts on them. <laughs> If you don't have nothing connected with this person in your heart, after a while, you're going to fall away, folks. Amen. 
It takes something to hang into a man for 26 years. Amen. It don't take nothing to walk in a room and get 